<laughs> you made it just in time for the intro. Hello. What up, YouTube? It's your boy. So here at uh, United Auctions Australia, and we're doing a uh, company profile for these guys to show uh, who they are, what they do, and, and where they are. Let's see Nick to get set up. Come in with the gear. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so they're going to have the auction box sort of in the background a little bit and they're, okay. gonna, and they're setting up cars sort of behind them. Cool, cool. So okay. they'll be in the auction box and the cars in the background. Okay. So we were commenting before how you played a dangerous game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice and snug. Is it driving to high school in that car? You get pretty good at getting that. setting up for an interview. Um, we just, we've used Samara as a, as a model, so we can test out some lighting. We're gonna need some strong and very diffuse light because there's a lot of different light sources, like the skylights and the lights, making a lot of different weird shadows. So we need to basically block that out in a smooth way. Yeah. Um, try that way for us. Yep. Yeah, we could have the roller book up. Is that the code? Yeah. 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 Get a bit of both. Hell, it's a bit too much on my fucking thing yeah. on there. Ah. There we go. Yeah. Alright, ready to roll. Hold on, jump back in for me. Ah. <laughs> ready when you are, mate. Cool. Alright, camera's rolling. Awesome. Up. Everything looks really good. Before we head off, I just want to do a quick demonstration of how much different you can make the footage look with good lighting. As I said before, there's all these weird light sources like the skylights and the lights. And if you move, I'm wrong now. If you move around, you head around Smith. There's kind of some weird shadows all over, all yeah, over the face. Really, yeah, odd and lighting. If I turn these on, no, that's one. Oh, one. I think Jake, oh. <laughs> Killed the other one. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. The magic of editing. So now okay. you can see if you sort of move your head around a bit, it's all, it's a lot more even yeah. across, across your face. If you have a really strong light with a big diffuser, with a big diffuser, it makes a really big soft light source. And that's why on your face, it's all nice and smooth. And then you've got a light over there just to light up the back of your head. Just a little, little sheen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's gone well. Howdy, we're here at the uh, Newcastle Racecourse. Lots of beautiful dresses, hats and whatnot. It's a not all right day, 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah, how many days are we into spring at this point? Two, three. <laughs> Actually, it's probably not, it's been like two weeks. Yeah. But it's still hotter than it has any right to be. We're, we're not meant to live here. No. <laughs> The, uh, the country equivalent of a hot rock restaurant. They bring it out and they're like, yeah, don't touch it, it's pretty hot. <laughs> and we're like, oh! <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so, so, so what are we doing today? So we're filming for uh, Group One Feeds, who make delicious food for racehorses. Mm. And other prestige champion purebred horses. So we're here getting some happy people, some happy horses. We're shooting it with the the pro rares on the Shogun, because Sweet. why not? Mm. Get some high quality up in here. So this shoot is actually part of a much bigger project. This will be maybe a, a few shots and scenes out of the overall larger video. We'll basically be traveling all over around, going to stables, going to horse trainers, going farms basically. It's a, it's a big, big project and um, this is just a very small part of it. So we're uh, sneaking some crowd shots with the uh, 70 to 200. Yep, basically. So with, with this setup, because it's uh, pretty bulky, it's not run and gun, it's more of lie in wait. It's very hunter-esque. Wait, wait for someone to come past and then we grab the shot. <laughs> right, there you are. Head right behind me. Sure I am. Got the shots. So, we 
we meet again. For the last time. Yeah. I don't know about that, but yeah. I'm here shooting the event. Got the uh, Smith boy behind the camera right there, as you can not see, because he's behind the camera. And uh, you'd think it's a one-man job, but while he's shooting uh, some behind-the-scenes stuff, he's also spotting shots for me, letting me know when something's about to happen. So it is really a two-man operation. One man also happens to be shoving the camera in my face. <laughs> This part of the shoot will be back tonight at about 6 o'clock at the trots. Um, I don't know what more to say. Come here. Go Alright, we're now here at the Harness Club, a little bit further away than the race course, and we're shooting horses. More horses. Um, this one is going to be a little interesting because that vehicle over there, if you can see, has a cabin in it. And uh, I'm going to be shooting at the back of that. So... Woo. Good fun. Let's yeah. see how that goes. Yeah. Much excited. So we need a smaller one because we're... You're going to be in quite a compact space. Yeah. <laughs> but also the, the screw size is different. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got to mount it up there. Fun. <laughs> So just finished up my adventure, racing around the track on the back of the car. Um, it's very fun, very shaky, but we'll see how the footage turns out. Looks pretty good. They get really close. Man. <laughs> How'd we go? Yeah, good. Yep. Um, what have we got left? I think um, they'll probably shoot one more race, not from the back, just along here. Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe we'll find a horsey to eat a treat. Sweet. Uh, if we can find one. Let's yeah. See. There we go. Oh, hey, hey, uh, so we're done. I'm a professional. <laughs> Catch you later.